Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Welcome back. This is again the Open Vert TV. And today we're gonna to talk about the obvious thing, the Paris Olympic. Now, if it is your first time, please hit that subscribe button on the bottom below and that notification bell so you can be alert when I post a new video. Make sure you put all. When you hit that bell, make sure you click on all so you get everything. And if you are a new, if you are a returning subscriber, Thank you for watching this video. Let's get into the topic for today, the Paris Olympic. I am surprised that many Christians are surprised that France would allow something so disgusting to happen and make a mockery of Jesus Christ. But the Christians, they forgot where friends came from and what the Bible says about friends as of today. We're going to look at the Bible, and then we're going to look at the writings of the true messenger of today, Ellen White. See what the Bible says about that. Let's get active, and let's go read the book of Revelation, chapter 11. Verse number 1, we're going to, from, we're going to go from verse number 1 to verse number 8. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God, and the altar, and then that worship therein. But the court which is without the temple leave out, and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread under foot forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days, clothed in sackcloth, which is a thousand two hundred and sixty days, but in poor prophecy, a day is equal to a year, so it's going to be 1,260 years, literal years. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the, before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceedeth out, out of the mouth and devoureth their enemy, the enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These having power to shut heaven, that it rained not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth of all plagues, and as often as they will. Okay? And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out, out of the bottomless pit, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit, shall make war against them, and shall overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Now, you might wonder, what does that have to do with, with friends? Well, friends is that beast, that rises out of the bottom of the, out of the bottom of the pit, and that is also called spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Let me tell you how I know that, because if you guys remember in the French Revolution, something happened in the French Revolution where. Well, France, a so-called, um, a so-called city or area or nation of the so-called highest philosophers and the highest intellectual, the highest culture, highest, and they came to mind that they beside decided to say something that is so out of reason. And this is what we are going to read about right now. Take a deep breath because we are going to the spirit of prophecy for this one. In the film revolution, we have, this is recorded in the book of Ellen White, the book called, that she wrote, the book is called The Great Controversy, page 273, beginning verse number 73. Bible says, now, first thing first, I'm going to do the 
Egypt first and then the Sodom will come after. Here's why. This is why friends is called the, 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 the spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Now I'm gonna go by Egypt first. Verse page 273, 274, paragraph 3. Actually, let me make it a bit bigger so you guys can see it better. So beginning in paragraph number three of page 274, with blasphemous boldness, almost beyond belief, one of the priests of the new order said, God, if you exist, avenge your injured one, I bid I bid you defiance. You will remain silent, you dare not la la launch your thunders. Who after this will believe in your existence? What is what an echo is this of the Pharaoh's demand? Who is Jehovah that I should obey his voice? I know not Jehovah. Remember that from Moses and Pharaoh, Ramses? Yes. Friends is that nation that said God doesn't exist because the next one says, The fool has said in his heart there is no God. And the Lord declares concerning the perverters of the truth, their folly shall be manifest unto all. After friends had renounced the worship of the living God, the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, it was only a little time till she descended to, to degrading idolatry by the worship of the goddess of reason in the person of, of a pro, profligate profligate woman. Now, what is a profligate woman? Do you guys know? A profligate woman. I did some little, you know, searching. The word for profligate woman is a recklessly extravagant. That's why France is so expensive as to anything about in France. It's also wasteful, but it also says licentiousness licentiousness and that's why French is sodomy and Egypt it is Egypt because it rejected God to worship a pagan or demonic spirit the God of reason which is about licentiousness this is why friends was the one of the first to promote the LGBT homosexuality lifestyle licentiousness now let's keep on reading and this is and uh, and uh, i'm right here right now and this in the representative assembly of the nation and by its highest civil and legis legislative authorities says the historian one of the ceremonies of this insane time stands unrivaled for absurdity combined with impiety. Wow! The doors of the convention were thrown open to a band of musicians, preceded by whom the members of the municipal body entered in solemn procession, singing a hymn in praise of liberty, so-called liberty, and escorting as the object of their future worship a veiled female whom they termed the goddess of reason. Being brought within the bar, she was unveiled with great form and placed on the right hand of the president when she was generally recognized as a dancing girl of the opera. To this person, as the fittest representative of that reason whom they worship, the National Convention of Friends rendered public homage. Let's keep on going. The impious and ridiculous mummery had a certain fashion, and the installation of the goddess of reason was renewed and imitated throughout the nation in such places where the inhabitant there desired to show themselves equal to all the heights of, revelation, of the revolution. Said the orator, we will introduce the worship of reason, legislators, fanaticism had given way to reason. It blurred its blurred eyes could not endure the brilliancy of the light. This day an immense concourse had assembled beneath those gothic vault, which 
which for the first time we echo the truth. There the French have celebrated the only true worship, that of liberty, that of reason. There we have formed wishes for the prosperity of the arms of the Republic. There we have abandoned inanimate idols for reason, for that animated image, the masterpiece of nature. So, when the good when the goddess was brought into the convention, the orator took her by the hand and turning to the assembly said, Mortal, cease to tremble before the powerless thunders of a god whom your fears have created. Henceforth, acknowledge no divinity but reason. I offer you its noblest and purest image if you must have idols sacrificed only to such as this. Far before the august Senate of freedom, O veil of reason. So, what we have is when France decided to remove God and said, Well, you know what? We don't know we're going to worship God because He is not worthy. We have to do it the our way, which is the goddess of reason. And then, Remember, France is called Sodom and Egypt. First, they became Egypt by denying God's existence and worshiped the goddess of reason, which in turn we became, made them become Sodom. And this is what Ellen White had to say about that. The Great City in whose street the witnesses are slain. Remember, we were reading, we were reading um, that in oh, not that one. We were reading in chapter eleven of Revelation. We were talking about the the two witnesses. Yes, she says, the great city in whose streets the witnesses are slain, the two witnesses, and where their de their dead bodies lie, is spiritual Egypt. Of all nations presented in Babel history, Egypt most boldly denied the existence of the living God and resisted its, his command. No monarch ever ventured upon more open and high-landed rebellion against the authority of heaven than did the king of Egypt when the message was brought, by Moses, was brought to him by Moses in the name of the Lord Pharaoh proudly answered, Who is Jehovah, that I should hearken unto his voice and let Israel go? I know not Jehovah, and moreover I will not let Israel go. This is atheism, and the nation represented by Egypt would give voice to a similar denial of the claims of the living God and would manifest a spirit like a, a like spirit of unbelief and defiance. The great city is also compared spiritually to Sodom. France, yes, is compared to Egypt and Sodom. The corruption of Sodom in breaking the law of God was especially manifested in what? Licentiousness. Licentiousness. A profligate woman. Licentiousness. Remember those words. And this sin was also to be a preeminent characteristic of the nation that should fulfill the specification of this scripture. Friends, don't be surprised that friends would do such a thing. Because friends is called Sodom and Egypt spiritually. According to the words of the prophet, then a little before the year 1798, which is when General Berti captured the Pope and, and captured him and he died in prison in France, some power of satanic origin, some power of satanic origin, of satanic origin and character would rise to make war upon the Bible. And in the land where the testimony of God's two witnesses should be, should thus be silenced, there would be manifest the atheism of Pharaoh and the licentiousness of Sodom. Christians 
you should not be surprised that friends would do such a thing because history already told us what happened to friends in the year 1789 to 1798. So, there is no way Christians should be surprised that friends would do such a thing. Go back, read the book of Revelation, chapter 11, Revelation, and then read the book Great Controversy, page page 260 to 280, or let's just call it chapter 15, The Bible and the French Revolution. Go read that chapter in the book of Controversy and see the history of France and you would not be surprised that France would do such a thing today. France forgot her history and she will be visited by God again like he did, like he did last time in the 1780s to 1798. Friends, I'm going to stop it right here. Just remember, do not be surprised that it came from friends. I'm going to stop right here. I hope you guys understand and enjoy this video. Don't forget again to hit that like button on your way out and that subscribe button as well. Hope to see you guys again. This was the Open Field TV. Until then, bye for now.